Thus, the universe has come into being from nothingness. In other words, it was created. This fact, which was discovered by modern physics only in the 20th century, was stated in the Quran 14 centuries ago. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. The Big Bang Theory showed that in the beginning, all the objects in the universe were of one piece and then were parted. This fact, which was revealed by the Big Bang Theory, was again stated in the Quran 14 centuries ago, when people had a very limited knowledge about the universe. Do unbelievers not see that the heavens and the earth were sewn together, and then we unstitched them? This is meant that the entire matter was created with a big bang out of a single point and shaped the present universe by being parted from each other. The expansion of the universe is one of the most important pieces of evidence that the universe was created out of nothing. Although this fact was not discovered by science until the 20th century, Allah has informed us of this reality in the Quran revealed 1400 years ago. It is we who have built the universe with our creative power, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The Big Bang was an evident indication that the universe was created from nothing. In other words, that it was created by Allah. For this reason, astronomers committed to the materialist philosophy continued to resist the Big Bang and uphold the idea of the infinite universe. The reason for this effort was revealed in the words of Arthur Eddington, one of the foremost materialist physicists. Philosophically, the notion of an abrupt beginning to the present order of nature is repugnant to me. Another materialist, the prominent English astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle, was one of the foremost who were disturbed by the Big Bang Theory. In the middle of the century, Hoyle championed a theory called the steady state, which was similar to the constant universe approach of the 19th century. The steady state theory argued that the universe was both infinite in size and eternal in duration. With the sole visible aim of supporting the materialist philosophy, this theory was totally at variance with the Big Bang Theory, which held that the universe had a beginning. Those who defended the steady state theory opposed the Big Bang for a long time. Science, however, was working against them. In 1948, George Gamow came up with another idea concerning the Big Bang. He stated that after the formation of the universe by a big explosion, a radiation surplus should have existed in the universe left over from this explosion. Moreover, this radiation ought to be uniformly diffused across the universe. This evidence, which ought to have existed, was soon to be found. In 1965, two researchers by the name of Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered these waves by chance. This radiation, called the cosmic background radiation, did not seem to radiate from a particular source, but rather pervaded the whole of space. Thus it was understood that this radiation was left over from the initial stages of the Big Bang. Penzias and Wilson were awarded a Nobel Prize for their discovery. In 1989, NASA sent the Cosmic Background Explorer, Kobe satellite, into space to do research on cosmic background radiation. It took only eight minutes for Kobe to verify Penzias and Wilson's calculations. The Kobe had found the remains of the big explosion that had taken place at the outset of the universe. Defined as the greatest astronomic discovery of all times, 
This finding explicitly proved the Big Bang Theory. Another important piece of evidence for the Big Bang was the amount of hydrogen and helium in space. In the researches, it was understood that the hydrogen-helium concentration in the universe complied with the theoretical calculations of the hydrogen-helium concentration remaining from the Big Bang. If the universe had no beginning, and if it had existed since eternity, its hydrogen constituents should have already been completely consumed and converted to helium. 